Amber um, Kitchen, first and um, foremost, how are you doing? Yeah, 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 really good, thank you. How is how have things been with obviously all the fight cancellations and all the difficulties? Um, uh, it's been alright, it's been a bit boring really. Yeah. The gym's been shut still, but I've been trying to tick over a little bit. Um, it's just disheartening really, because it's no goal to train for. Yeah. Yeah. It was probably it was a little bit of a coming out party, wasn't it? Because we had yourself, we had Liam Harrison, we had Jacob Smith, and we obviously had Jonathan Haggerty all meant to in big standout yeah. performances. It was a big, big occasion for the Brits on one championship, wasn't it? Yeah, it was, I was excited as well because um, I switched up my training camp, went to Bagco, um, done a bit of four corners. So you know, I felt like um, I was more than ready even six weeks out. So yeah, it's disheartening, but. You know, everyone's in the same boat, I yeah. guess. Talk to me about the process of finding out that the fight was off. Um, so first of all, I kind of had a niggle that it would be off because um, I was meant to fight Wonder Girl Fairtex. I watched her fight Jackie and I seen she was putting a few posts on saying she had broken her cheekbone or yeah. something like that. Um, yeah, and then kind of Richard told me that the fights were off because of COVID and then all of a sudden I see everyone's got their fights back and they're like, apart from Amber, because obviously Wonder Girl's broke her face. So yeah, that was a bit, um, you know, it's just one of them, but I wish they kind of replaced me with someone else, but I suppose everyone's fights are off now. Yeah. So, you know, better sooner than later finding out. How did you view the matchup with Wonder Girl? What did you, what were you looking at at that matchup that you thought that you could perhaps exploit or, or maybe work on? Um, obviously it's a different game of small gloves. I haven't fought in um, small gloves yeah. before. Um, but I was confident going into that fight. I don't think many people have put pressure on her. Um, yeah. So I was going to. I was training to be really come forward, fighter, aggressive, um, working on my boxing a lot more. Um, but obviously, still keeping my kicks on the end of combinations. So yeah, I was excited. Uh, I, felt, I feel like I've got a whole different style of fighting now. Um, but yeah, it's just one of them. <laughs> Was there anything from the Jackie Bunton fight that you thought that you could implement in a, in a similar way Bun Bunton did? Uh, it was interesting to watch because I fought Jackie before and I've won. So I was kind of thinking back to when I fought her, what she was doing, um, taking bits from that. But yeah, it's the same as what I just said, like Jackie put pressure on her yeah. and um, she didn't like it. I, for her people she fought before didn't really push her um, too hard. So that's just what I was hoping to do little bit of like a triangle going on there, isn't it? I never even thought about that before yeah. we spoke, but yourself, Jackie and Wonder Girl all fighting. Yeah. Who's who in your opinion is the tougher matchup for yourself in a, a Wonder Girl fight or a Jackie Button rematch? Um, I would like to fight Jackie. I was hoping they would put me forward to Jackie. I mean she's a tougher opponent. I was uh, expecting Wonder Girl to be a tough opponent. I think she still is, but obviously she got caught with that punch. Like good on her for take doing the whole rest of the rounds. But yeah. um Ideally, I'd like to fight Jackie again, um, but yeah, like I said, it's a different game in small gloves. Mm. She's definitely picked up her game a lot since I fought her. How much different is it fighting on one championship? That's one thing I wanted to get out to you. Is, is it different fighting on that and perhaps to the slightly smaller shows? Yeah, I mean, for the only thing I'd done before was Infusion, so that yeah. was, um, you know, quite big. Um, but I mean, it's just the whole audience and the setup. It's massive, and the whole build up to it. Um, I mean, I've only fought once now, yeah. and won championships, but I feel like I got a, a feel for it. I won't be as nervous going in next time. Like I sat in the audience after and thought it's not that scary. Like, why do you work yourself up about it? But um, I mean, obviously, it's on like broadcasted worldwide, so yeah. that's the only thing you're like, right? It's watched live. Got to you know, give it your all. Is the hope to get the Wonder Girl fight rebooked? Is that the fight that you still want, or is there someone else out there? Um, I mean, I'm happy with anyone. I just want to fight because it's been two years now. Um, but I'm hope I'm I think they're going ahead with a Wonder Girl fight. They said hopefully May. It depends on COVID though, really. Um, but obviously, I'd like to fight Jackie again afterwards. Is that one of the main goals now? Just to, after two years out, to just stay active and just keep keep fighting type of thing yeah i mean everyone else is getting fights after fights so it's hard to keep stopping starting i think everyone in the uk kind of feels the same at the moment but um yeah once you get a momentum of training you know you're just progressing on where you took off so you know you feel stronger you're in the routine a little bit more how near 
does a Wonder Girl win put you into the title picture for the Championship? Um, I mean, obviously, I fought at Victoria before and I lost um, split decisions. Yeah. So I'd like to fight her again. I think she had the opportunity to fight Iman for the belt. Yeah. So um, I don't know how we're going to play it. There's quite a few girls all of a sudden in the category. So I, I'm not, I don't think I'm too far off, but I'm hoping to fight Wonder Girl with Jackie, hopefully a rematch with Victoria, uh, maybe step up to Iman. It's not... With the greatest of respect, it's not the deepest division, is it? So there probably will be a lot of rematches, yeah. and probably a lot of trilogies as well, won't you would have thought? Yeah, yeah. I think they're still signing more as well. There's probably yeah. other girls in there, but um, yeah, it's definitely a good kind of category to be in. Yeah. And if we think about the next 12 to 18 month period, we obviously want the ones to go fight and we obviously want to keep you active. Is mm. there any other goals that you have in mind that you want to accomplish? Um, I mean, for main ones, just getting the belt. I mean, just keep on training trying to get up to that um but yeah i just take on anyone now i'm just like ready to fight i'm just so determined to fight now so. how have you accomplished so much at such a young age that's the one thing that baffles me what um, is, is, there, is there something there that you can perhaps give a piece of advice to or something or to people um i mean it's definitely hard i started tra training when i was about three uh fighting when i was nine but i did have a few years off uh, i think i was just to kind of find what I wanted to do myself uh, I always come back to it though so I mean it's just okay it's just in my blood like I if I have like a month off or something I'm like oh my god I'm the laziest person in the world so I think that just kind of like hypes me on to do it so just keep doing something you love yeah well, as hard as it is yeah that's the best piece of advice <laughs> yeah. and how much is your game approved with making the changes to to your training with the likes of Bad company and obviously four corners boxing gym. Yeah, I mean obviously touch gloves is great where I am now. Um, my dad coaches me, lots of students help. Um, but just being up here alongside everyone else who's like kind of fighting on one. Um, I mean personally, I find it good to like look up to everyone. They're really good role models, and you kind of feel like you have to keep up the pace with them. Obviously, I would be able to with like Liam and um, Jacob and all, but. Um, yeah, I mean, it's just great kind of vibe to be around. Yeah, 100%. Well, let's hope we can get a fight book for you soon. Hopefully that one's a girl fight and hopefully keep active this year. Yeah, yeah hopefully. Before we finish, Amber, how can people find you on social media? Um, Instagram, Amber um, Kitchen, Touch Gloves, um, um, Touch Gloves Gym, I manage, and yeah, on Facebook. Yeah. Superb. And before <laughs> we finish, is there anything you would like to say or sign off with at all? Um, well, just thank you for... Um, Richard for kind of taking me in as his own up in bad company. All right, brilliant. Well, oh, I very you. much look forward to seeing you back in action. Yeah, thank you very much. Thank you.